Wireless. Oh, live. It is time for stories from the standing room. That's as good as it's going to get for an intro. I used, I used the clock up there. Oh, I welcome, see. everybody. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello. Stories from the standing room. Now, they're not there yet, so we're going to go let's, ahead. Let's talk to ourselves and tell them what is at one point. What's new? This is Brock, everybody. That, oh, okay. so I'll, I'll say oh Suzanne is with us. Suzanne. Okay, we are, oh, they're already, they're coming in live, so okay, I think, give everyone yep. just a moment just to sit, sit down and look. stop looking, I, I don't want to show them my face, I want to show them your face and the standing room, so, let's, so say people, hello to Suzanne, hello, okay. people are coming on, yeah, yeah they're, so on, on, they're, on, they're on, they're on, oh, they're on, they're on, okay, people probably want to have a look at the, there's the standing room, we are in the standing room right now, and this is our very first ever stories, oh, uh, Leah's in Montana. Oh, cousin soup. Look, okay, Mike is here. Look, uh, husband, can you guys see husband okay? There's already 14, 13. Me? Yeah, I think they can oh, see Oh, I'm all right. I'm invisible. Stories, stories from the... Oh, love you too, love you. Um, hopefully you will be in the UK this summer, Miss Beautiful Thing. Nancy is here, Nancy Driscoll, Nancy and Tim. Good. Hello. Okay, they're here for stories from the standing room. Yeah. I'm wondering... Oh, Kim is... Hello, Nurse Kim. Good Lord. Oh, he's in the... They says, no, he's in the dark. They want the lights on. I know. Well, everyone, Maybe well, you, should hold the candle. you should hold the it's candle. You should hold the candle. I need to hold the um, candle. Hold oh, the candle. If I set fire to the house, if I set fire to the house, he's got them all lit. That's perfect. No, that's perfect. <laughs> I'm peeling off myself. Okay, that's no, okay, stop. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome. We got a candle. We have uh, our very first stories from the standing room. This is the standing room. Do you want to tell them why this is the standing room, husband? Well, because the last house we lived in, when we moved into it, we realized that the the sitting room was so small, we probably would have to stand in it because we couldn't get any chairs in to sit in. Oh, they're saying it's kind of dark. Oh, and stop peeing. They're saying, hold it closer to your face. Oh, my God. Is that we're trying to give you a little atmosphere. If it's too dark, then we will. We will. Oh, Richard! Richard is here. Richard, hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. hi, Richard. Hey, Richard. How's the lighting? His, his candles are perfect. He's okay. We're gonna go with the candles. We don't have any mood music, but the reason this is called the standing room is because in our old house, yes, yeah. we couldn't fit a chair or a couch to get inside the sitting room. So this is officially now the standing room. Yeah. Okay. And this is our very first stories from the standing room. And because uh, oh, Alan did make it with us. Welcome, Alan. John. Oh, he goes, Does, don't let him burn. Um, okay, husband. Um, yeah, I've got to set fire to myself. Please yeah. don't. Well, that would be an interesting live shot, would yeah. it not? Um, Facebook Live uh, inside the standing room. Julia is here. The lighting is great. Oh, she said she saw a candle move. Oh, we might as well start telling them. Oh yeah, Richard has stayed in that room. This is Alex's Oh, we can room. we can tell them the story now because we didn't really because we oh. want to scare Mary. Okay. Oh, that's right. We that's did right. kind of we hold back. Did, okay. We held back. Upstairs. Well, this is uh, this is up. Oh, there's faces. Faces. Upstairs is uh, Alex's room, and that's where. Maybe we should tell them the, the data story of the they house. They want your face. First. They want your face. Oh. Well, honey, they do want your face. Well. I tell you what. You want to change places with me? No, I'm just going to put that light. You talk to them. I'm just going to move this light. I got it. Okay. Higher. All right. He says he's waiting for vampires with the. Oh, they like the candlelight. Just sit. Just sit. It's fine. We're just. Sorry, <laughs> Because it's just going to look fuddly. It's fine. They love the candles. They love it. It's fine. Excellent lighting. It's fine. Okay. Because we're in the standing room and it's kind of like a vibe. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, go ahead. And we've been in this house. It's 450 years old. Uh, on the outside. For those who were not here on the tour before, what was that, husband? I heard something. What was that? I thought I heard something. I'm just going to go show them really quick. Um, that for those who have not been on the tour before, this is the, if you see these beams here, these this frame is actually, this is the a frame from 1580s. 1580s. So that was around the same time as the uh, Spanish Armada yeah. coming in. So the frame is the same. The windows, of course, have been replaced. But uh, here we go with husband in the standing room. Let's go ahead and, and tell them what we couldn't tell Richard and Mary oh, okay. and Stephanie, who stayed with us just a few uh, weeks ago. Well, Ghosts, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jay Terry's Ghost. Good. Yeah. It's not that we can say that... I'm not going to say that. Much. <laughs> it's not that we can say that the house is haunted, but there are certainly small things which happen, like doors will certainly open which can't be opened of their own accord. That's true. And when, we, when, we're in, so when we're in bed, the door is directly opposite, kind of in the middle, yeah. opposite the bed. One just like that, yeah. yeah. 
and that will just open. It's not the cats, but the door will just open fully, swing open. Now, the wind can't move it, so the doors will open. Now, what Alex had noted once was he saw that the the type of the type of door handle. I'm hold, just getting in your face, so I think. Yeah, I'm going it. to show them door handle. Are oh, you going to show them? The door handles look like that because they're, they're kind of like that modern doors. Yeah. And to oh, so to open the door. We have to twist the handle. Yeah, that's true. To, to open it. And Alex said <laughs> the door opened without the door handle going down, which is physically impossible. It did. It kind of went through. But it literally won't. It won't just open like uh, a tiny bit of opening. It literally will slam open. Yeah. And this is both on this floor and the upper floor. And this happens quite a bit. Um, quite a bit with uh, Alex. I don't know if it yeah. happened with Richard, Mary, and Stephanie. They left the door open. I believe they left it left open. Richard, is that true? Did you leave the the door open? Either way, we do have doors opening. And in certain, this house. certainly, there's, you do get. Um, well, like we had the trash bag shaking around oh, when we, we first did. moved in. We did. Like we thought the cat was in the trash bag, yeah, and there was nothing true. in it, and it was like moving around. In yeah. the middle of the sitting room downstairs. Yes, that's true. We did have movement. The ironing board in. shaking at yeah, the same time. We did have the ironing board shaking. So we have actually seen and experienced things from scratching to uh, doors opening. Uh, it's not uncommon in a house of this age to, or, or really any house, because there's land that has energy. So it isn't just the house. It's, but uh, I would say there's nothing bad in the house. It doesn't feel spooky. It just no. feels like an ordinary house. Richard did say that we did tell him about the doors. Oh, we did tell Richard about Yeah, but we didn't later. tell him really, though, how frequently and how often it happens. I think they left it open. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, we left it open. Because we um, but it. Alex will be sitting there playing Xbox, and he says it'll just pop, pop, middle of the night. For us, we were laying in bed, and pop, pop it will open. As if you expect yeah. somebody like Kramer yeah. to come bursting through the door. But that's not not when we're lying down. That's when we're sitting up before we go to sleep. So we just watch it and go, it's just a case of, oh. Yeah, you're almost positive door. it's a case. You're almost like, oh, they, they've opened the door again. We've got to go and close it. Okay, well, that because our house, if you can see... Uh, dating back 450 years, this has been lots of things. There's been people who lived and died. Yeah, it was, a, it was a merchant's uh, house. Yeah. Um, then it was downstairs, became a shop in the 18th century. Um, <laughs> oh, it so, says the door did not open. Richard said the door did not open. When oh, they were, they were okay. okay. They were yeah. good. Um, uh, so it's been different things at different times. Yes, it has. And so on the outside, it's uh, 1580. But on the inside, it is 2009. Yeah. And we are about two miles away from one of the most haunted places in Britain, which is what they say. But um, it, is, uh, it is a pretty famous place, and you'll see it on Most Haunted. Uh, you will see it on uh, several episodes yeah. online. Barry Pomeroy Castle is which nearby. Which is where we you have... walk to. Yes, I do like to walk to Barry Pomeroy. Oh, hello, Henry and Alan. So, oh, we started to explain... Why it's called the standing room, and then we went in a different direction. Oh yeah, yes, it, was, yes. it was because back in the old house, it was so small we thought we couldn't sit in it, so it couldn't be a sitting room. It was so we thought we had to stand in it. Yeah, it was so, so small. It really was. It's and like the name yeah. came from the old house to the new house. Yeah, so we've never stopped calling it the standing room. It is really an amazing place, and if you can, if you can look up, we're going to go ahead. You walk around the room and show them like inside the cupboards. Yeah, but so. I want to tell them about Barry Pomeroy Castle first because we we don't want to keep skipping. Oh that. yeah, okay. yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and let you guys look the standing room for a moment while we tell the story of this castle that is literally in the woods that's probably what makes it the most amazing you can google this on your own it's literally up that door and probably a three mile turnaround uh cindy cindy's not she said people really knew what lies beneath their homes but i do love your home what oh and, oh robin's on um okay now what we're gonna do is we're talking about barry pomeroy castle now listen the big thing is about barry pomeroy castle is that Everybody says it's so super haunted and that people come away with some really uh, negative energy. I When I went out there, it was a beautiful castle. Whatever I do go out there, I get nothing I but really... You get, you, as soon as you go through the gates so you enter the courtyard, you do feel the energy goes a bit strange. Yeah. It's like It just feels a bit kind of almost depressing as soon as you get inside the castle. Right. Not outside the walls, but as soon as you get into the castle yeah. and go in through up the stairs, it just does start feeling a bit... Uh, a little bit um, ominous, uneasy. Uh, but there, there are uh, there uh, there are some uh, stories of uh, a woman who was so beautiful that her sister was jealous, Lady Margaret, who was uh, walled up, I guess, in the basement or yeah. in one of the tower rooms down below, and she passed away due to starvation. That is one of the the people that they say they see. I have never yeah. seen her. There are the two men that were on horseback. Yeah, the two knights that didn't want to. The castle was besieged, and they oh, no, Robin. they refused. Oh, go ahead, they refused to uh, 
surrender. Yeah. So they rode the they got they rode off the ramparts often on their horses in full armor and killed themselves. Yes. Yeah, so that is that's and supposed it, to be some of the energy that shows yeah, up but, at the castle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But there are lots of strange stories. There was someone who was saying there was a workman. He said he dropped. It was daytime, and he dropped his hammer onto the ground. Yeah. And he just went into the gra- into the into the, like the, the the cut grass, and he just went into the ground. So it went di- interdimensionally yeah, into it, the ground. Yeah. Just disappeared into the ground. Okay. This this and castle. Funny little things. Yes, this castle is actually it's a manor home more than a castle. Then it really was a fortress, and it only was lived in for what about a hundred years. Yes. Yeah, well, a bit longer. It was like two hundred years. I think mm-hmm. it was like around maybe the. 1390 to 1645. Yes. Okay, so it has been abandoned and in the woods, and that's what makes it so appealing, right? Uh, and so uh, it's about, like we said, about two miles outside, you walk through the woods. There is some really, like, fairy tale woods on the way to go to the castle. Um, but when I first moved here, I was sitting on a couch, very much like this, one of our first couches. Oh, yeah. And I sat down with husband and I said, what is the big deal? Why is Barry Pomeroy such a big deal? Why? How can that be more haunted than anywhere else? And then you started, like, laughing or something at it? I did laugh. Yeah. I did mock it a little bit. I did. Yeah. I was like, pretty... I go, wait, wait, you know, how? and death and blood and dungeons that has happened in most all and castles. then you made a little joke i did make like. a little joke and i this is something i must tell you with all certainty within a minute of within saying that of you yes the joke of it. within seconds of making the joke about barry pomeroy i was lighthearted, saying well what's the big deal about it there was a sense of metal that came on the end of my tongue as if somebody had shoved a like a rusty uh, rail spike down my throat. And that lasted for, it tasted really like blood, to be honest. They're, they're liking that. Yeah. <laughs> they like, hey, they want to shove big things of rust down my throat. <laughs> but um, no, it was a really uh, interesting thing. It was the uh, very first time anything like that has ever happened to me before. Uh, and it was maybe being so s- close to it. Maybe there was something uh, actually in the... Yeah. Oh, there's a little face. Maybe there was some kind of energy associated to it. Maybe it's not okay to make fun of things like that. I didn't take it seriously. Not until then. But when I have visited the castle since, I don't get an ominous feeling. But I'm never there at night. No, I don't think it's ominous outside. And I think the land is, is, is not ominous. But it's just as soon as you go through the gates... Oh, Tim says I need to, sorry, hold that thought. Tim says I need to read my feed. And I, I'm sorry, I am trying to read my feed. I apologize, Nancy. This is a part of you guys being a part of it. Uh, Stephen is talking about the old house in San Luis Obispo uh, is haunted. And Tim and Robin both have crushes on you, husband. Good. I think that's what Nancy wanted me to read the feed about. Okay. Um, uh, they love the history that you know. And they want to hear more of your stories. Um, so uh, we talked about Barry Pomeroy Castle. We've talked about the happenings that have happened with us. We literally have heard scratching now. Yeah. And we have seen some strange But we things. haven't heard scratching. That's, that's another story for another day. But yes, the scratching wasn't in this house. Yeah, no, it wasn't in this house. I lived but... in a house with a lot of poltergeist activity once. Okay, where was this at? That was in a place called Bradninch. It was at... really th- Bradninch. No, Alan is on. Local, our handyman Alan is on. Oh, He's right. coming Brad to fix Ninja. the lights, yes. Okay. okay, so you lived in Bradmitch. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, and yeah. it was really weird because you entered it through an ordinary Victorian house built about 1880. Yeah. And you went through a door, it was like a dream, and you entered the back part of the house, went back 600 years. So it was like a modern Victorian house. Right. And then suddenly you opened the door and went to a much older part of the house, and that was really weird. Now the str- we had a lot of things which used to move around. in When there was nobody in the room, it was shut. We'd hear things used to get thrown around. And then the strangest thing, we were watching a really spooky movie, and I can't remember what it was. But it was what? Just... Why not? I mean, it was okay, a movie. All right. Anyway, we were watching a spooky movie about a haunting, but it was actually quite spooky, and it was talking about all kinds of activity Columbia. related to the, to this house being haunted. And it talked about this clumminess and things being feeling sticky and temper. And there were all things that we'd had in this house. And then as we were watching it, the TV went off. Yes. And we were looking at it and think, that's really weird. And we went to look and we switched it on and off. And we realized, and then we looked and the, the, uh, the plug was taken out the outlet. That's crazie. And we were watching this, this, which was this movie, which was just talking about poltergeist activity. Yeah. And when we looked at the TV and when we looked behind the TV, the actual plug just had translated. 
Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The plug was out of the outlet. It'd be, and it's not like a US one. A US one, it can't fall yeah, out. Yeah, it can't. It's it a can't three. Be it's out, a yeah. three plug one. It's a three pin one. You have to really pull it. That's and true. It was, it was taken yeah. out, and it was about three inches away from the socket. That's really interesting. So, uh, that, but that was that was not a good house. That was the very first house I bought, and the very first house I sold very quickly. Too. Yes. Did you make a profit on it? Yeah, a little bit. Right, just I'm more bothered about getting out. They're asking you questions. That's why I might seem to be a little bit, um, yeah. a little bit distracted. I, I've heard that story before. I think it's a fantastic story. I love that story. Um, they're asking about saging. Did I don't think we saged here before. I think I, I came often. To live here. I, I think I saged every house I've always gone into. We didn't sage here before we moved in. No, but I did a first day. You did? I did. I always okay. did. Can you tell them about saging? It's usually California sage that we use. Oh, yeah, it's California sage. I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I mean, I, I just think for me, it's just that it's a mental position I put myself into. Yeah. I'm not saying saging works or doesn't work. I really wouldn't like to say that. Yeah. But I certainly nearly always sage each room because for me, it's like a cleansing activity of each of the rooms. And every house I've moved into, I've always saged or smudged each room. Yes, okay, so that does make a difference. So I did, yeah. and uh, um, Alex's room was a bit strange, in the house we lived in Oh last. my God, I remember. The downstairs, yes. we had to stay, oh, we had to stay to the lot. We lived above the castle well. well. Yes, we did. We lived above the well, and... Uh, the, I mean, this was a big well inside the house, which was about 10, 12 feet across. And yes, and it has been a water source probably for years. It was a water source of the castle. Yes. They said they could listen to you talk all day. And we have 18 folks with us live. And I remember, I told her, he says, oh, I'm really happy I finally caught you guys live. Sorry, off topic. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Alan is saying, watching on three devices, iMac phone and iPad, uh, emocons, uh, oh, the emotions only float across the screen on the mobile. That's interesting. Oh, to that's know. interesting. Yeah, because we are getting a lot of hearts and we appreciate having you with us. And we'd like to be able to make this a weekly feature where we actually get uh, the stories in of the arcane. You want to explain what the arcane means? Well, the arcane is quite an interesting, it's, it's an interesting, <laughs> more precise, um, more precise reference to things which are, are not of a, a kind of within a normal framework of the explainable. Right, which is the the, the, the unknown, the, the, the unknown, occult, whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to call all that stuff. Not, nothing dark or weird. Well, there but can just, be just, dark and weird things. Yeah, but nothing like really negative or crap. But but just some just just like spooky stories and strangeness and pixies, fairies, little folk, and all that kind of thing. Do you believe this is a good question? Hi, Richard. Hello, Richard. And Tara has asked a very good question. In this room, okay, we have this old chest, which is like a, a pirate. Um, it's like a, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a, yeah, Do you want to turn the light just a, super quick? So no, I just, I just, okay. I just, okay. I just all right. The uh, really quick. The, the, uh, they can't see that, honey. It's too dark. Yeah, too I'll dark. put the, yeah, no, hang on. Oh, no, no, we're back. We're back. We're back. We just had a hiccup. Okay. Uh, just I'm go ahead I'm and just, gonna, I'm just, show just turn on the light really quick the, because yeah, it's just, literally a black box. Ah, there you go. Okay. They can see that now. Good. And there's some strange carving on the top. Water is notorious for creating paranormal activity, they said, which is very interesting. Yes. Um, uh, but that's true because it is, yeah. it's like a conduit, well, isn't this it? Is, this is 16... kind of this interesting carving on the top. But real quick, we're going to ask, there's a question she's asked, and I want to make sure I get their questions asked. asked, asked. This is 16, what year? I was thinking like 1680s. 1680s. It's a coffer, and it would be pretty much what you would find pirate booty in, if you will. Um, but they're asking, um, like, for example, this table here. This is also 1680s. Uh, six, uh, 1680s, too. 1680s. 1670s, okay. 1670s, they 1680s. want to know. I think we're going to have to leave the light on, honey. I'm sorry. That's all right, because they can see more stuff. Just for a minute. Just okay, for a minute. we can all take okay. it off. Um, yeah, no, they want to know. Have a seat. Have a seat. They want to know the, 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 the items. Do they carry the energy? Do they well, have, I think they do. How do you I'm, know that they're not haunted? Like the haunted bunk beds and the haunted Well, I think they're dolls. deeply paranoia. I mean, I've been collecting <laughs> objects since um, since I was I a kid, and I mean, sometimes you will pick an object up and it doesn't feel quite right, and I right. wouldn't buy it then. But I mean, I've been collecting and aligning objects, and I've always been interested, even in my own artwork, about alignments of objects and yeah. what if you put certain things together. Yeah. And maybe take them over to the cupboards. Oh yes, I will. Well, I will. But so I, 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 I think. Well, there are there are times that because we go a lot of this stuff is bought obviously used how else would it not be used um but we're we're buying it and it has history they have history and emotions that are attached to them um because i i showed them the um i showed them a little bit of this room like for example this old red coat this is uh 
like this is, well, July 4th is coming up. So this is a real red coat, right? But it doesn't date back to the 1770s. What year is it? I can't be flying. About 1850. Okay. Uh, oh, hello, Kelly. Uh, you may have already mentioned this. How old is the house? House is uh, from 1580s. Yeah. Uh, the house is actually from the 1580s, but the uh, the interior has been done to about. Uh, mm, oh, it's hard to see in there, honey. You can't see in there. Uh, oh, um, is oh, there anything? I, I could get. I could. Uh, I find it. Um, What's that? This is 1710. This is. You want to get a flashlight? That's all right. Uh, 1710. We have. Um, I, like this with this. I don't know how well they can. Well, they can see that. But anyway, uh, oh, has it been said that spirits can cling to a certain object or place? It has been said. And there are things that actually come like that. There are well, I think also if you're in a society which is drenched in old objects, you don't think about it so much. Yeah, that's true. Because in America, well, remember when I told you that my house was old, it was 1940. Finally caught us. Hello, Sarah. Welcome. Hello, Cindy. Okay, we're inside the, uh, this is a cabinet that it's a lot of this stuff is, yes, a lot of this stuff is coming from uh, boot sales. These are uh, just, uh, the thing is they're going to want to know how do you discover these things. How do you know when well, we when we go to a boot sale, which is a, a, a um, swap meet? How do so you know where to find these? Because you can find them. Oops! Oh, I've done oh. something weird. Are you flashing? What are you yeah, strobing for? Go. Here we go. Finally, cut. Right, turn it on, honey. Stop strobing. Stop that. There we go. Okay. No. Can you but, just turn it on? There you go. That's fine. No, that's fine. Oh. I don't know. It's a stupid phone. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen it do that. Why is it doing that? It, neither do I. It's like a party. Sorry about that. That's oh, sorry, that's Chris. That's old. Oh, they said that is old. Yes, 1580. Yeah. Uh, we have 22 viewers with us. You want to tell them a little bit about your collection? Well, I gave a brief overview, but not I, much. I, I, who's I, the mask, real quick? They want, who's the Earth mask? Earth Junkies. Yeah. It's, a, it's a life mask. Okay. Not a death mask. It's a life mask of okay. John Keats. John Keats? So I always collected objects. I mean, I used to have a lot more in the past. It says, uh, uh, Nancy says, that's you, that is. No, yeah, she didn't. She said, that's a ghost. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, looks as, like, oh, it looks good. The thing when you, yeah. well, one, I, 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 I've worked for museums and dated objects and, and dealt in antiques all my life. Uh -huh. So... What's this? The, the, oh, it's okay. very sorry, fragile. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Paper. It's oh, like, okay. it, 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 yeah, it would just break up if you do that. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to see if I could just show it real quick. I could lift it up. I no, lift. it's fine. It's fine. We don't yeah. have to. Um, what do you want to show them in here? You could show them something like that. That's, because that's vellum. That's stronger. Okay, yes. That is vellum. Not just this parchment. It's vellum. And it's six. What, 1646? 1648. Honey, that's amazing. No wonder you said they're in different places. I didn't know that. Yeah. They like that. 1648. Now, these are documents, things that you have found. The books are about 300 years old, correct? Yeah, and I think yeah. when you're looking when you're looking at something like a swap meet, don't use your eyes. You'll never find anything. How, you just you got use? to sense it. Sense what with your heart? Well, well, I don't know. you just got to sense the, the objects. It is it. Or my dad's on. Dad made it. Hi, Daddy. Yay, Dad. Oh, so what, uh, am I still, am yes, I still, please, am I please still show us looking at... Do you want me to ask? I, if I ask, then you can tell us about this stuff. I, I was showing them this the other day, which says, ladies all pray. Okay. Ladies all pray, make free and tell you how you make you Tell me how you make your tea. Uh, this is something you've collected. Yeah. It's about uh, 1770. Oh, 1770. Where'd you find it and how much was it? It was about four pounds, and it was a present, I think. Four pounds, that's about six dollars, seven dollars, yeah. yes. Okay, uh, going through... Uh, uh, that, that jug is, that jug's about 1810, and I got that from the rubbish. It yeah. was in the trash. How do you do that? I don't well, understand. Well, it was at the end of the car boot sale. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so uh, in this, the pewter pieces, the uh, the dagliotypes, the... The uh, wand, yeah. Yeah. just in case. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> these, these a little casualty. Are... That's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, yeah, they say it is tea time. They just got, oh, Janet just got here. Janet, we were just showing about uh, old items and old objects and things. And, and then there's uh, that one over there. Do you want to look over Yeah, there? we can look at there, but I need you to, we want to get back to the, the stories. Yeah, we of, do, but I just, I'm uh, introducing okay. people to the standing room. Yeah, okay, we are introducing you to the standing room with the original standing room creator. Uh, things going as far back as this. these are medieval rings. Um, and we have, oh, this is a medieval Look, thimble. Yeah. These rings, that's Roman, that's Roman, that's medieval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this wouldn't be, would this be considered, honey, your arm, your arm, your arm. Oh my gosh. Okay, would this be considered a priceless collection? No, or it's all cheap. It's all like cost, to, everything has just cost me a couple of dollars each. Yeah, what's your favorite piece up, up on this one? Oh. This is 1832, I remember this I, box you've had since you've been little. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. 
It's, it's hard to say because I oh. kind of like all of it. I like different things in different ways. I found that in the Thames, mudlarking. Yeah, what is it? It's a marble from the 18th century or the 17th century. 17th century marble? Yeah, but it's got a nice patterning on it. Oh, it does, and it's kind of heavy. We have a question uh, real quick about, this is the only Englishman that I know that doesn't drink tea. And as far as tea being called tea, tea is also another word for dinner, uh, which is supper time, yeah? yeah. But um, a husband does not like uh, things that are hot or cold. So I make tea for our guests, and I'm always guessing if uh, I'm accurate or not on how their tea is made. Yeah. Let's show them some more stuff. What's the oldest piece on here? Don't you have an old Viking ship on here somewhere? Oh, yeah, there's a piece of, the, of, a piece of Viking ship, but I don't know what well, it is. I don't is. want to say that if we can't mm, find it. It's on here somewhere. Oh, husband. Well, I know it's on here. It's, All right. it's, it's, All right. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, that is. Okay. Can you can they see that? There it is. It's oh, where'd you get that? That's so cool. That's because I worked for the I worked as a volunteer for the Museum of London. Can we see it again? No, yeah. come on. For this those who are sitting, this is a piece of an old Viking ship. It was flat. It's bent because it dried yes, out. Yes, yes. So it's, it's a piece of Viking ship. So how and it was old being are we? thrown away. This is what nine hundred. No, the, the, it's older from that because it was, it was Alfred the Great, so it was 875. Right, so it was the, year the, Danish, 900. the Danish attack on London in 875. And we have had, the questions are coming. I work for the museum and they were, the, the, they were just dating all this material and throwing it away. So I just happened to take that piece yeah. home with me because I was throwing it away. Well, so uh, we've never had, do you think we've ever had any kind of... Uh, energy or anything any item have we had that that gave you the creeps or maybe made you I feel in the past, but I've never like what were they what were they oh things i bought when i was when i was really young maybe when i was a teenager like what? But i think i'm oversensitive just like one thing was a tin and one thing was something else just what? A couple, say that again well just a, one thing was a tin and the the other thing were just a couple of all of the smaller things but i think i was a teenager and overtly oversensitive to things like that what was the matter with the tin just didn't feel right yeah but i think what did you do with the tin through, oh, oh I t the tin I took back to where I got it and put oh. it back in the You say this place. is creeping me out, this is totally haunted here, I have this back. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, but that's because I was like 14 or 13. Okay. And now, I, at that age, you get pre by stuff. Okay, wait, they're loving the history. They're loving your history. I wanted you to tell them about the witch ball. Oh, you the tell, witch ball, yeah. The witch ball the is witch balls, The witch ball you put in the window. Okay. Yes, you do. Uh, and this is uh, this is not... Uh, yeah, they can see. It's kind of like a disco ball for them. They're going to see. You want to put it up? They can see us in it. There you go. Oh, yeah, they've never seen one like that. And you oh, they think it's interesting. If you get to be closer, okay. you can see a reflection of the whole room. Yeah. So it's it's no evil spirits oh, or witches can, yeah, okay, can, come in, can come into the room without you seeing it. So they're always hanging, hung in the windows historically. Okay. So, so you could see an evil spirit coming into the room. It so you hang them in the window. And if anything, yeah. if there's any spirit yeah. or poltergeist yeah. or anything in the room that you can't see with your own eye, right. you'll always see it in the witch ball. Okay, so it's like a big Christmas ornament. Yeah. Basically. It's like, what's that? It's about like 10 inches. No, about 12 inches. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where did you get this one? That's Where a did... reproduction one. Right. Of what year? Of what year would, would they, they have Oh, they made called? them in the 18th, the 16th. Uh, uh, well, it's when they were blowing it. Probably the 17th and 18th century. They were blowing the glass in the 17th century? Yeah, but you'd have to blow it as a large, you'd blow it as a dome of glass. They love this stuff, honey. They love this. Uh, I didn't want to miss Steve's, uh, Steve had had some uh, ghost stories, uh, and there were some several things we were talking about. What we wanted to do was do a weekly show for you uh, from the standing room uh, on stories of the arcane, on Can stories say, of, uh, uh, yes, 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 that's fine, uh, on stories of the arcane, on, on stories of um, just... Speaking. Just uh, Well, yeah, we, we'd like to be spooky with you because there are so many cool stories. For example, we want to take you to the crop circles. Yeah. Yeah, crop circles uh, are... If we can get a signal. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Signals, like, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, they say Christmas past. Yeah, they, that's, oh, bye-bye. Bye, Richard. We love you. Bye, Richard. Richard. Um, uh, the uh, the crop circles season, it begins usually around the end of Well, April. it's harvest. So, no, no, no. A lot earlier, later from that, because it's when the huh? crops grow. Right. So it, it's, it, it starts June, early July, builds to peak in late July. Right. And this... This is, this is close by. Yeah, but 90% ni ni of the world crop circles, the big, dramatic, strange ones, right. the big ones, are all within 
15 miles radius of Avebury Stone Circle, where we're doing a live show from later in the week. We are going to take you to Avebury on Friday, Friday, uh, uh, Thursday, maybe, maybe Thursday, Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Thursday, yeah. And uh, that is a huge stone circle. If you think, the well, it, it is the biggest in the world. If you think that uh, Stonehenge is big. It's all part of the yeah. same complex, but Stonehenge would be lost. There's a, there's a whole village in the middle of the stone circle. It's so big. Oh, yeah. well, we're going to take you to Avebury. We're also going to, uh, we wanted to tell you about crop circles, what happens in the crop circles. If we have, uh, these, these are so intricate, so mathematically complex that uh, well, when, they happen in the, in the rapeseed and in the wheat. Anything that can be kind of yes. knotted and woven because they're okay. not just squashed, as it were. And, oh, they love crop circles. We have some crop circle fans. We want to take you to the crop circles, and we actually have think, some crop think, from yeah, the crop we, circles. We Where is the yeah, wheat? So, Do you have so, it? Yeah. Uh, yep. Do yeah, you have but, it? Uh, no, it's in a drawer over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, when we brought home, I wanted to tell you, when, oh, we, yeah. when we brought home, really quick, we are going to take you to the crop circles. When we brought home some pieces of the uh, the crop that had been not just laying down, not just, uh, not just pushed, Wind. it literally was woven. It was woven together like a, like a blanket. So we took some pieces of it. We took some the ends of it the was wheat. Like a corn dolly of like food I mentioned. It was, it was. Uh, and we took, brought them home, and I set them in my um, in my studio. I set this little piece of wheat up by just maybe fifteen inches away from my microphone. Well, you put all of it in. You have some. I did. I did. Uh, when I set the wheat down, went about my business. Next day, my microphone blew. And, uh, you need to stop working, my and the lights went. The, the lights went, yes, and the computer stopped working. And I had to, this is in the old house, I had to get a damn new microphone. That was an expensive mic. It was 200 yeah, pounds, $200. All the electrics are going around. It yeah, around that was those. really a pain in the so butt. I, don't, I keep it away from anything electrical now. Yeah, so we have, uh, we keep our wheat. Uh, I think he, my, oh, here, wait, here he is. Uh, Oh, oh, Stephen said he saw one locally, but it's turned out to be a hoax. It's way I, more I, I than just I think I'd say two things. First of all, we, the, when we when we went to the crop circle, the first one we went to. Yes. When we arrived, there was no one else there. Yes. Uh, but there was an unmarked helicopter, yep. which is grey. And when we got closer, it has got an RAF, so it was military. And the military, there was a military guy with some kind of camera. They were flying up and down at about 10 to 15 feet, really right. low over it. Right. And they, he had a device and he was go, they were going over. So the military don't, do not waste money. And then as soon as we were there, they went off. Okay. So they were scanning it. It was yes. like seen from Close Encounters. They were scanning. And I will tell you also, the, uh, the farmers will, uh, they will uh, harvest them quickly. And I thought also, I go, it had to be, you know, it's, it's far too, you know, it's got to be kids with boards. When you see them, when you see how intricate they are, when you see how precise they are, when you see them from the air and actually and you within them, the you like can. You can your hair stand up on there. Yes, it's like being underneath one of those uh, pylon thing, yeah. like a, an electrical pylon. It really is. Um, so they. And then also, when we were there, yeah. some other people then joined us at the first one where the military was scanning. Yeah. And there was a, there was a woman there who was a math mathematician. She was at Oxford and she was doing pure mathematics. And she said to us, she she said, I've had an, an, a quick look at this, and she says it's so complex that I will not, I can't get my head around it. Yeah. It just looked pretty to us, but she said, mathematically, this is so Excellent. complex. And she was like a, a, a global mathematic person. Yes, she was doing true. research yep. in, in, in Oxford on they're pure supposed mathematics. To be, they're supposed to be almost not just what we see, but three-dimensional. Three-dimensional, yeah. Yes. You're actually seeing like a cut through, like, like it's cut through a tree. If you imagine you cut yes, through a tree yes. and you look at the tree ring, you say, oh, well, this is a tree. But actually, there's a theory that they're three-dimensional, and we're only actually seeing a cut through that's true. something that's multi-dimensional. Something much more complex than even our computers can keep up with. Mm -hmm. Samantha from um, uh, Florida is here. Big kiss to Samantha, husband. She's she's one of our very first viewers. Um, we want to thank all of them. All, everybody's on. And, oh, that's crazy. The crop circles are fascinating. They like that. We yeah. need to take them we to do the crop some actual real, We do some more stuff on crop circles in the future. We will. And we'll take you, actually, to Silbury Hill. Uh, and what we might have to do is what? we might have to um, standing room everybody, yeah. 
Really if true. we can't, if we can't do the, um, we do a live feed and yes. then we do we film it yep. and attach the film onto the website. That's true, where we can't take the, the yeah. internet. So if we okay. can't take the internet, yeah. we, at least we can film it. So the stories from the standing room, we want to talk about things like crop circles, ghosts and uh, the arcane, uh, the occult, which is simply just a word that means the currently unknown at this particular time. That's all occult means. It does not mean anything bad it can but just as much as people can be bad or um people can be good it's whether it's known or not the occult means the unknown um why are you making that face husband why are you making the face what's the matter the thing i'm just waiting to say the next thing go they're waiting for you go they oh. got hearts 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 oh, oh, oh okay yeah because i can't i've got i forgot what i was gonna we're say we're just talking about what we wanted to do yeah. i think we want to do maybe saturday nights we'll do uh stories yeah. from the standing room um, oh, they're little faces. They're little faces. So we'll do Saturday night stories from the standing room with yep. husband. Uh, and uh, we will do uh, uh, not just the, what is it, uh, arcane ghosts, specters, and stories from the but, past. Well, yeah, I mean, also, I mean, that's part of it. But also there's a lot of putting quite a history stuff and uh, folklore stuff. Do you want to tell them about the devil's footprint? No, I do a whole thing. How about the devil. hairy hands? No, I do a thing on husband. the moors. We do a thing on, I think do a whole thing on the moors. All right. I don't have to watch in future. Oh, all right. So we have been on. We've already been on for 35 minutes. How does it feel? 35 minutes. This is a long run. And because we do have internet feed, um, we haven't had any dropouts or any of the drama. And they love the room. They love the vibe. Um, uh, they go, oh, and they're poolside. It is it, today's Memorial Day, remembering those who have passed in the service uh, of our countries. Um, today, they are laying by the pool and watching. Stories from the sun. And the sun shining. The, the sun is shining. He loves the sun. He's absolutely beside himself. Don't say you're in the sun because he'll get jealous. Look, I'll get say. jealous. I'll pee on the sofa. I'll get so jealous. Okay, honey, but there's got to be, there's got to be just a few more things we could tell uh, them. Maybe um, just a bit where we are, like pirates, pixies, and stuff like that. Do you want to uh, talk about the pixies? Do you want to talk about, they don't, when I first came over here, you talked about the pixies and I was like, yeah, right, the pixies. I never understood that they were really talking about the earth spirits. I didn't understand yeah, they were talking about People have seen pixies here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, particularly if you go into like rural communities, the little people are, are seen as no. seen as far more real, far more three dimensional. Yes. Because as soon as you start talking to people, I'm talking to people maybe at parties and they have a few drinks. Not that they start seeing the pixies, but it loosens their tongue. People will admit that they have seen the little people, or they know people that have sworn that they have seen yes, pixies. I... But pixies in pixies originating Devon, the uh, pixies in Devon. And Pixkies. Bye, Nancy. In we love you. She's Cor running. Sorry. Bye, bye. Ahead. Yeah. And Pixkies in in Cornwall, but this is where they originate from. But they're not particularly good. They they they're not like uh, like the Irish leprechauns who are who are um, cobblers who will mend your shoes. The Pixies are just little and they're just more impish and they're really not always. They're really... naughty. Yeah. Well, they're more from naughty. They're malicious. So yes. Pixies. Are but the... they're still babies. Yeah, they eat them. They eat babies. Yeah. What about changelings? What oh, they're fairies. Fairies and pixies uh, are not the same. Okay, okay. Well, they're, there's still the, lots to the talk about. The little people are different to the pixies. There's still lots and lots and lots we can talk about. So we'll have another Saturday night uh, stories from the standing room, uh, and we can have uh, suggestions from you guys. We can have stories from you guys. We want to go ahead and make it available to everybody. We're sorry if I, I missed some of the feed. There was a lot of feed that came through. People were sharing their stories. Uh, and things that there, Stephen. I believe the term pixel came from pixie. Is that true, husband? Do you know that? Don't know. Could because they're so little. Could do. Little pixie. Little guys. Yeah, this little thing. Uh, but what also that yeah. is interesting. We need to go Google that one. Yeah. But what what we'd also say is we've got the uh, standing room on Facebook where we're going to place. These oh notes. yes, yes, yes. We're going to try to do this every Saturday night. We'll have uh, stories from the standing room, and we're going to collect stories from you. Uh, we would love it if you could uh, share them with us as well. Maybe MP3. If we have an MP3, we can um, take that in. Or yeah, uh, just we will put them, be... Put them, or, or anything you'd like us to talk about. Yes, just yes, put, yes. Just become a friend of Stories Just, just Dan standing. Kelly for now. We'll, we'll tell you where the link is. It yeah. is called Stories from the Standing Room. Yeah, and, and um, also, if, also, if you can also join my... Um, What's mine? It is Echoes of Albion. Echoes of Albion. <laughs> which, is, yeah. which is the ones where we take you out to the cool places. Yeah. So we're going to be going to uh, a dog sanctuary 
uh, which they have over here in the UK, the hedgehog sanctuaries, the cat sanctuary, the donkey sanctuary. They have all the animal sanctuaries. We're going to be going to a dog sanctuary later on this week, hopefully. Well, that's um, probably tomorrow. But the main ones will be uh, when we uh, later in the week, Avebury Stone Circle. And the, and the pub where that guy threw his wife, to, slit his wife's throat and then threw her down the well and then put a stone on top of the well. What? And then she's still down there in the middle of the pub. What do you mean? Well, what pub? What pub are we oh, going to? Oh, the Red Lion, Avebury. Okay, so what happened? He, he killed her and he put her down the home well? He came home during the Civil War. He came home from battle, basically, and found her with another man from the village. Whoops. So he shot the man, uh -huh. cut his wife's throat, yes. threw her down the well, uh -oh. put a capstone on top of the well, oh. and then that's in the middle of the pub, and she's still down there in the really? middle of the pub. We're going to yeah. take him there? Yeah. Okay, good. She, yeah, on Friday. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, then, Thursday. Well, we're going to be going Thursday and Friday. We'll be heading up towards Avebury. But if uh, you miss it, you can just be able to watch it recorded. Yeah, I don't know. This is a long way. We've gone already 40 minutes. Which Civil War, American or British? British. British. 16, British. Is it 1640, in 1640s. Can you please leave a link? Yes, we will leave a link for standing uh, stories from the standing room. Um, and uh, the Civil War, our Civil War, which is the American Civil War, is not... The Civil War you're talking about, 1666, yeah. yes? Okay, the American Civil War. The Civil War, it took... 1640, he's saying, yeah. 1640. It took 20, it killed 20%. 1666 was a fire, sorry. Yeah. London six, fire was 16... 16 yeah. Alan's right, Alan's 1642 right. to 16... Alex is on! Hi, Alex. Hi, Alex! 16, 1642 to 1648. Yes. And he killed 20% of the population, which was more than was killed percentage-wise in the First World War and the Second World War. Oh, my God. It was such a bloody nasty war. It was, and it was to overthrow the king Yeah. and to come out from underneath. Our Civil War, by the way, we have to mention this. This is a great story. Oh. Okay, really quick. Okay, yeah. just really quick. I, I said this on a, on a walk the other day. Um, I was taking, just for fun, the American citizenship test online. And the question was, what was the big war... In between... No! Oh, no, yeah. What was, what the, was big the big war? war between Americans, like... Killing one another. When Abraham him... Lincoln was president. Yeah, yeah. Where, what, okay. the, what was his What's war? the name of that war in America? Yeah, go on. Can you tell me the answer? Somebody please type it in. What's the, type what is the, the name of that war? You know, the one the one that started in 1862, that one. Yeah. Do, do you know what the name of that war is? Anybody? Anybody? Husband? They're not answering. No one's answering. It's the, we think... I answered. We think it's oh, a... Yes. Oh, yeah, Civil War. Joy, yeah. Joy came in with Civil War. Exactly. Of course. We think it's a right? Civil War. It's the Civil War. But according to the American citizenship, it's the war between the states. I got the answer wrong. It's not the Civil War. It's the war between the states. And Yeah. That, that would mean I, I didn't wrong. qualify for American citizenship because I didn't get that right. We've always called it the Civil War, haven't we? Well, I've always called it a civil war. What the it, hell? If a nation fights itself, it's a civil war. Oh, Tara, Tara came in with the war between the states. Where the hell? They know that. They well, know the answer. Be, maybe it's being rewritten now. We didn't know. We didn't know. How come they know? We didn't know. Maybe we should have pensioned but joy. But in all the movies. Yeah. Uh, oh, we go. No, no, no. We're, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. And, 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 what are you doing? What are you all, doing? All the like, newspaper books over there yes, from the yes, 1860s yes, yes. refer to the American Civil War. Brand I know, I know. to walk across the room. I know. No, that's okay. Okay. Well, what we'll do is uh, everybody has been so sweet. Civil War. Yeah, they're coming in. Civil War. Um, listen, it's the war between the states in case you're ever going to take the uh, We still say Civil War. Everybody's since Civil War, I think, I thought until well, it's gone with the wind. Yes. It was not set in the war between the states. It's yes, I know they said the freaking Civil, Civil War. war. It's gone at horror, okay. horror and said Civil War. Okay, we, we, were all the, we were all taught wrong in school, Henry says. <gasps> Susan Baca is on. Sue Baca, she's a teacher. So, Sue, uh, do, do you say to your students Civil War or the war between the states? Which would be interesting to see. Because if they're teaching that now, yeah, maybe it's, just maybe it's for the, because we're old. Maybe it's because we are ancient uh but really quick we're already coming up on 43 minutes listen stories from the standing room it's going to be live every saturday night we're going to try to do it as late as we can to make it time for them because we have uh this is the middle of the day for uh for them revolutionist revisionist history oh well, she's right they are revising history that's what's happening it's being rewritten because we're so old that's what's happening anyway okay well at least we weren't the only ones but they we, we were also we were also wrong and there were others that knew so, husband, what do you have to say about that? Well, I've gone with the wind. I'm just, <laughs> okay. I'm just like gone with the wind. Oh, 
She says, oh, I thought 1862 was a Civil War too. Oops. Okay, good. We have other people um, yeah. feeling the pain. Listen, we're going to go live at Avery Stone Circle. Let's give them a promo for that. Um, yeah, they're big, huge. They are big stones. But they're, they're big rock. Yes, okay. But they're not as big as Stonehenge. And they are just a stone's throw away. But, but really, there's many, many, many more. It's so big. It's so expensive. When it happened to the USA, it was a Civil War. What happens in other places is just a, a Civil War. The Civil War. Oh, I see. O'Brien is saying that in the States, they capitalize the, because it's theirs. The, yeah, it's just same here. Yeah, same thing, it, yes. It, if you're yes. in the country and it's your Civil War, then right. it's the Civil War. Like, and it's, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. yeah oh, it, and if it's somebody else's Oh, the Civil windows, War. it's opening. That's a cat. That's got to be that's a cat. A cat. It's got oh, to be. okay. It's the queen of everything. <laughs> the doors. Okay, for those of you who missed, who missed the beginning of this, our very first standing room, we were talking about these doors will open. Is Alex still on? Alex, honey, are you still on with us? Uh, Alex's room is upstairs, and that's where the doors open. If he's still there, Alan says, and it's uh, uh, four, oh, he's the, oh, the 405, not 405. It's time the freeway, how we always put the in front of everything in California. Yeah. Um, Alex, we were telling them how your door opens upstairs and how our door to our, uh, our bedroom uh, chamber, our bed chamber opens. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, I think we're going to do it again. It was okay. We're just kind of stumbling through it, trying yeah, to figure out how it works. Out how it works. Well, we have one. themes because we're just bubbling tonight. Well, we keep bubbling. We tonight. are bubbling. I don't think we're not going to, I don't think we stop bubbling. No, I now. don't think, I think we'd probably talk forever, but the big thing would be, we need to have, uh, we will have more focus and we will have more, um, features. And uh, we're going to make this into a little podcast, but we're going to call it Stories from the Standing Room uh, every Saturday night coming and in. And we're going to wave goodbye to everyone. Honey, oh, bye, honey, bye. All right, we can, all right really quick. Uh, does anybody, uh, if anybody wants to uh, ask any questions, we'll go ahead and stick around for questions. Why not? Yeah, we can stick around for questions. Just for a couple, just to see if that works. Yep. I just want to see if that's possible. We've been hovering about 20 viewers live. Some people have to go. I love to see Stone Hunt. Stone and also, if I it's sunny and it's, people are at, it's, yeah. No, they are. It's, it's, it's Memorial Day. So yeah, they're all exactly, at the. Yeah. The barbecues in the in the beach. Um, oh, Stephen wants definitely to see Stonehenge. Could we take him to Stonehenge? Mm, we could, but probably not this week. Um, we'll do. Well, we'll see if we can do. Uh, if we can. Three, three, yeah, we see. Yeah, uh, we should st show you Stonehenge because it is so very Flintstoney. It is so very Disneyland. It really is so very. Once you see it, you're gonna go uh, Spinal Tap because it's so completely. You've seen it so many. It's so iconic. And he goes, can he be your marketing director? Oh, Robin's going to be our marketing director for our show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get, get no, for the stories from the standing room. Yeah. Yes. We desperately need that. Um, so we're going we're gonna to take it to April next week. All right. That's going to be Thursday or Friday. We will try to do the things that you suggest. Oh, not all of them, because we know what some of you are going to suggest. Why don't you get that phone and... Get that phone and shove it right where it's in that, in yeah. that copper over there. Um, but really quick, can we tell them about pirate accents? I want to tell you about... We are, we are, we are, I feel like we're supposed to be answering questions. Not oh, okay. All right. All right. We can uh, do that next oh, time. Okay. Well, we are, we're from where pirate accents come from, and we'll tell you more about that. Lighting's, lighting on your faces. They want the lighting. They want the lights on. I'm sorry, honey. We can still keep the candles on. Yeah, Actually, we can sort it in future. But, yeah, but people are saying we like the candles. Oh, he wants to see Stonehenge in person. Of course, get your ass over here, Stephen. Okay, Robin's on it. Christopher needs to be seen. Sorry, honey. You've got too many people saying they need to turn on the lights. You need to be able to be seen. Grab the candle real quick. Just real quick. Like earlier. Yes. Like we, we... But no, no, they want the lights on. But for this shot, we'll just do a close. There you are. All right. There's a husband. That's when you do look so No, 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 not over the flank. What's the matter with you? Oh, yes. <laughs> My there, nose. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right. So uh, there we go. There's husband. And here's me saying thank you for coming to our first episode of Stories in the Standing Room. We will see you next Saturday. No, we'll see you next Friday for an Albion Or Thursday month. even. Maybe even Thursday. But we and will try. we've got the doggy thing for Danny. Yes, honey, but for the Stories in the Standing oh, Room. Oh, stand out a different yes. one. That's, that's, we love you yeah. very much. Can you try to announce the day and time of your show like a day in advance? Absolutely, we will. Um, and we're going to be doing more. Robin... Robin, hopefully, thank you for any advice that you can give us. But we are going to be doing far more uh, preparation stuff. We were dropping you so many times yesterday because of the... Uh, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you for being with us. Um, we were dropping the internet signal, so we're just really kind of floundering along. But we will see you again. Stories in this ten. Husband, let's say goodbye together. Yeah. Okay. We love you very, very yeah. much. Bye-bye. And we will see you on next week. We'll yeah. see you on Thursday. No, this week. This, this week. week. This week. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. We love you. Yeah. Bye, everybody.